Curator Henry Duffy on the humanity of Augustus St. Gaudens, a young Augustus St. Gaudens in black and white. Two seated park rangers. So, you know, you've come to research a great deal about St. Gaudens and his life. Um, you know, what are one or two of your favorite stories about uh, St. Gaudens, his uh, creative process, his social life, things like that? I think what impressed me when I was reading about him is his humanity. I think um, when you first start to read about St. Gaudens, you read his reminiscence, which was heavily edited by his son, Homer, and you read uh, traditional biographies by the people who knew him. And what you realize is that those are legend, not really biography. And if you kind of read through the lines or read the correspondence or read what other people say about him, you begin to pick up the man himself. And I'm always interested in history, how a person who may be flawed still creates great products, great things. Um, and certainly St. Gardens, if you um, look at his life carefully enough, uh, the most glaring one that we talk about at the park is um, his second family, and the fact that he had um, essentially two wives and two sons. Um, uh, you know, it's hard to know how that happened or, or why that happened, but it did. Um, and there are other things, too. Um, nowadays, people are concerned with uh, the way he spoke about other cultures. Some of it sounds to us not very appreciative. I mean, it sounds, I mean, he'll, he talks about, uh, when he talks about the African American uh, models for the Shaw, he, it, he seems to dismiss them. He seems to make them comical. But that's more complicated than it seems because he, in the rest of his life, shows no sign of disparaging anybody. Um, and even in the rough patch of his marriage, in the correspondence, and there's a lot of correspondence between he and his wife, even in the rough times, he never says anything bad about her. He never disparages her at all. So I don't know what all, I don't, I don't know what all that means. So there's still unknown um, issues about him, which are, I think, intriguing, and that'll be for the next person to try to figure out. But um, I think you see also the journey of a guy who came out of poverty and made something out of himself and really followed a Horatio Alger kind of a course of um, marrying up, marrying a, a wife who was of a higher class. And I'm sure she taught him a lot about how to deal with people in a higher class. Um, and it, was, it would be those people who would be his clients as a sculptor. So he would need to learn how to talk because his language would have been the language of the suite and not the language of the drawing room. So she would have had to teach him how to speak and she would have had to teach him um, how to disport himself. Um, he tells some funny stories. He tells a story as a child. Uh, well, not a child. He was a teenager in Paris. Um, he, he had been sent by his parents over to gain training in art at the Ecole de Beaux-Arts. None of them knew that the school in France and Paris had never admitted an American in sculpture before. So he sh showed up expecting to just walk in and they said, you, you're here for what? What, what, what do you want? Um, so he had to apply to the American ambassador, a man named Elio Washburn. And the ambassador went to the um, superintendent of fine arts for the French um, empire at the time, had some political negotiating, and they worked out. When he announced to St. Gaudens that 
he was going to be admitted to the school. He had invited him to lunch at the um, embassy. And that was the first time that St. Gardens had ever been in a place that grand. And the thing that really knocked him up was the um, asparagus. He had never seen asparagus. And the asparagus was served with an asparagus fork, which is a kind of a um, gripping tool. It's, it, instead of a spoon, it's, it's, it's little for, forks, but it's, it's on a scissor thing, so it, 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 it grasps. Well, he had never seen it. So, so he, he saw this thing. It came around the table. He took a stab at it and managed to pitch half of it on the ground. And... Um, you know, was mortally embarrassed and said, oh, you know, I'm not going to get anywhere. But, you know, he realized then that in polite society, nothing ever goes wrong. Nobody, nobody batted an eye, nobody did anything. Um, the, the butler just whisked the thing away, came back with another plate of asparagus. But this time, I think the butler took the thing and put it in the plate. You know, not going to mess with this again. But, but, you know, there were stories like that where you see him learning how to function in, 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 in society and, and not knowing how to do it. Um, there was another one of those stories. Um, in the school itself, and he was the only foreigner, uh, um, well, there was one more. Um, there was one more American. Um, actually, two more. All right, there were, two, there were three Americans because there were two who came after him. Um, they were razzed by the French students. But he didn't know that. So they would get him to uh, stand up on the table and sing. And he thought, oh, they just admire my voice. They want to hear me sing. And didn't realize that they were just enjoying the spectacle of making this poor kid stand up on a table and sing. And um, he would be asked to sing French songs. And he sang songs that he had learned from his father. Again, without knowing that that was a joke to people because his father was from the Pyrenees, uh, he was Gascon, which meant he, he, he had a, a separate dialect. So it would be like um, songs from Appalachia or something. So, so again, he didn't realize that the Parisian boys were making fun of him, um, but um, you know, eventually learned that as well. But um, I, I, I always liked those kind of stories. Arrowhead Emblem of the National Park Service. St. Gaudens National Historical Park, your national park for the arts, a young Augustus St. Gaudens in black and white.